it's so hot. Um, give it up really loudly for Moni Zhang. Hello, I'm Moni, and uh, I'm made in China, <laughs> so no Korea. That joke is a little bit outdated, I know. So, um, Berlin is not a city for love, but uh, uh, like Josie, I also got a new boyfriend, Leslie. Yeah, he's super cute. Aww. Aww. Yeah, you are a good audience. Unfortunately, he's American. Aww. Yeah, from New York. Um, Jewish. <laughs> Stick. I like things to be nature, you know. So, speaking of Berlin, any of you just moved to Berlin lately? Any of you? Any of you consider to move to Berlin? Okay, so listen to my advice. Run before you got time. So, that's what my psychiatrist told me because winter is coming. <laughs> Let me tell you what Berlin has done to me. Before I moved to Berlin, I was a, a hardworking, career-driven, typical Asian girl. Now, I'm just a East Berlin hipster who go to sex party way too often. <laughs> Before I moved to Berlin, I had a promising career uh, ahead of me. Now I'm thinking about quitting my job, figuring out what I want. <laughs> like everyone else here. Before I moved to Berlin, uh, I, I lived a really healthy lifestyle. I love hiking. I, I go on trips uh, every week. Now, I'm tripping on acid instead. <laughs> Come on, you can't blame me. But it is so fucking flat. As flat as an Asian girl's boobs. <laughs> Obviously, not this Asian girl. <laughs> so, really, consider my advice. Uh, get out of here before, uh, when you still have the chance. Unfortunately, it's not an option for me anymore because I have my psychiatrist and my boyfriend in Berlin. I can't leave them behind because I have mental and physical needs. I actually uh, realize a psychiatrist and a boyfriend share lots of similarities. For example, first, they are both guys who I pay them. <laughs> to get 15 minutes of undivided attention every week. <laughs> Second, technically, you are supposed always, always tell the truth only. But in reality, the best practice is don't. Don't. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, no matter what kind of conversation you have with them, you are always the crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, they also have lots of differences. Uh, for example, uh, most of the conversations I have with my boyfriend uh, lead to physical actions. Half of the time, physical fights, sometimes sex, Mm, but with a psychiatrist, the physical part doesn't happen as often. <laughs> and the bright side is that with my psychiatrist, I never fight with him. <laughs> Get my joke? <laughs> yes. Uh, so in case uh, you wonder about my sex life, uh, I only got one minute to go, it's a uh, perfect time to talk about, about my sex life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, World Cup just ended. Uh, my boyfriend is actually half French, half American. So uh, when the, 
the day when the French team uh, won the uh, World Cup Championship, uh, we celebrated by having sex for the first time, which is ooh, sexy, which is a great time because um, it's, uh, it's beneficial when I need to calculate if he's the uh, first father. So, in case any of you want to adopt, uh, what kind of baby you know who to talk to? <laughs> Thank you guys, you've been lovely. Um, uh, he's still relatively new to the game, I think, so um, give him a huge, hugely, hugely warm welcome.